Hey you YouTube. Got a new vacuum tube again. Or there I got a couple of new vacuum tubes. This is the first to arrive of those. Next to, uh, except the SRS502, which I showed in a previous video. Uh, again on the HD camera of my sister, because this tube is just cool. Okay, so this is its box. It's in it's a uh, new is it's a new uh, new old stock new box thing uh, with a critic writing on top can't really see that that well anymore but yeah Get this back a bit or I think I put it here so yeah this thing is old school Okay, got all that material out. Good. So let's get the tube itself out. There, this is the R uh, the um, GU fifty six. You might think this is a GU fifty six B. It is not. The B and the A on the GU tubes stands for B stands for uh, forced air cooled, and A stands for forced water cooled or just water cooled. And then there's also a V which stands for vapor cooled, but okay. This thing is an ambient air or a convection cooled tube, meaning I do not have to direct a fan on this thing. It's cooled by the airflow itself. Because the heatsink gets hot, air rises, and it's cooling the heatsink again. This is a 700 watt triode. Well, it's got 700 watts of dissipation with this huge heatsink. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They're quite rare, rare too, because yeah, they're they're expensive and they're rare. And you got lucky with this one. Um, yeah. If you guys wait a second, I'm gonna get a GU40, uh, my GU40B, to show you guys the difference. I should have thought of this kind of stuff before I started making the video. Okay guys. You might have seen this tube before in a different video. Packaging away. This little thing. Right here is a GU40B with its 2000 watts. It's, it's tiny, as you can see. But I like it, it's cool. It's a tetrode. Um, by the way, these two tubes were made during the uh, uh, USSR. They actually have CCCP staying on, they're going to show you that in a sec. Can you can actually see that? Um, yeah, the difference is this tube only got, it's only got 5,000 volts, I think, of B plus voltage, and that thing's got 6,000 of B plus, I think. Not quite sure, but they're cool. And you can see the socket difference. Yeah. This thing is much smaller. This isn't a forced air cooled GU type tube. And I'm currently working on getting GU type tubes. If you guys uh, want to donate uh, GU type tubes or, yeah, or have GU type tubes that you don't need anymore, I'm happy to take them and put them into my collection on the website as well. Which I'm currently working on. 
It actually works. Yes, it actually works. <laughs> okay, so you can see the size difference of these two tubes. To prevent uh, to prevent damage from uh, <laughs> this tube, I'm going to put it into its original box again. Okay, so let's go to the details. This thing is huge. So this it says CCCP. Yeah, there CCCP. Good thing this camera's got an auto iris. And it says made in CCCP, or rather I make in CCCP, that's what the translation is, where I make in USSR, that's the actual complete translation. I can't actually speak this, but yeah. Then. You can actually see the grid inside. There. And here it says GU56. And made 1960, 1976. So yeah. You have to be careful because this heat sink bends very easily, so don't don't want to, want to break this. I'm probably gonna make a build a test with this because this dude is pretty powerful and will pro well, probably give me about 20, 25, maybe 30 inches of spark length. And guys, please don't go looking for these tubes, this kind of this tube, because it's expensive as hell. You might be asking yourself, why is this thing down here? Easy, you should look inside, you can see that tube I was talking about where the air got sucked out and it was crimped uh, shut and then soldered shut. Because this tube gets and in like this. You put the socket on top and fire the damn thing up. It's got a film voltage of 6.3 volts at some of 30, 40 amps, so pretty ferocious filament. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and um, happy tube collecting and hope you like these kinds of videos. If you do, thumbs up and comment if you like to. And I will show some other tubes in HD as far as I, uh, if I can. Yeah. And currently I only have two GU type tubes as far as I know. Mm. Actual GU type tubes. I got comparable tubes from Germany, which are the LS series, but yeah. But this thing is just cool. It's, it's huge and it looks cool. I like this. And another little tube. Uh, uh, guessing game for you guys. I ordered, uh, okay, I ordered some new vacuum tubes. You're only gonna have to guess one single vacuum tube from the about six one from the about six I ordered. It's got a plate dissipation of 300 watts. It looks similar to the 2500 TH or 4500 TH, which is an AMAC tube, but it's made in uh, Russia. It is a radar triode, and it's got a black base. Let's see if you can figure that out, that one out, because no one actually managed to figure out any one of those two things I gave you guys. So, hmm. yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and um, see ya.